Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at completing the square to get a quadratic in standard form. So standard form is where we have our quadratic in the form of a times x minus h squared plus k. And it helps us, especially when we're using transformations, to sketch the graph of that quite easily. And so in order to get it in this form, we will need to complete the square to figure out that middle factor. So just like completing the square when we're solving with equations, we have to have a leading coefficient of one. But one thing that's different when you're dealing with an equation is we don't have another side to work with. So everything that we do, we're gonna have to keep balance on the same side. All right, so our first example, we've got f of x equals x squared plus eight x plus 14. Well, good news is, is we already have that leading coefficient of one. So, but we can't move this 14 over and we can't add stuff to both sides. So to, to get this set up to complete the square, I'm gonna kinda separate out my 14 and put in a blank where I'm gonna add in what's gonna complete my square. Now, if I add something, I either need to do something to the other side, but I can't do that here, or I need to subtract that same value so that we keep everything balanced. And from here, it's just completing the square. So just like when we complete the square with a quadratic equation, we are going to take our middle factor, our coefficient of our x, and we're gonna take half of it. In this case, half of eight is equal to four. And then we're going to square that value. Four squared is 16. We're gonna add it and then we're gonna subtract it and then we're going to factor those first three terms. So x squared plus eight x plus 16 will always factor to x plus the number that we had our half on, quantity squared. And then we can take what's left over, our 14 minus 16 is equal to negative two. And so our standard form here, we can, I'll go ahead and write it just to that one out front, just to emphasize that our a is one, x, plus four squared minus two. That one doesn't have to be there. Um, I was just to emphasize that it's in that form. All right, our next example, we've got a leading coefficient that is not one. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to get rid of that, but we can't divide by it like we did in the quadratic equations. We need to factor it out. And so when we factor out, first that's what I'm gonna do on my first step, is just factor that out. Negative three, if we factor that out, we're gonna get x squared, the negative's gonna come out, and we'll get plus 12x, and plus 107's not divisible by three, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that as the fraction 107 over three. Now, what's inside the parentheses is exactly where we started this previous example. So we're gonna make it look like that inside the parentheses. So we're gonna move that 107 over three out of our way. We're gonna add in what we're gonna complete our square with. And then since we added it, we've also gotta subtract it. It's all inside the parentheses there. Now we're gonna take our coefficient on our x, we're gonna take half of it and square it. So 12, half of that is gonna be a positive six. When we square that, we get 36 on both sides. So inside the parentheses, our first three terms, we're gonna factor to x plus six quantity squared when we add 107 over three minus 36, if we get a common denominator there, we will have 108 over three. So this is gonna become 108 over three, which is gonna give us a minus one third. And then our last step to get it in that form is to distribute our three back. Now we only have two terms, we've got our factor and then what was left over. So this is gonna be negative three times our factor, x plus six squared. 
and then negative 3 times negative 1 third is a positive 1. And so now we have our standard form of our quadratic. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.